sister wives Mary Brown breastfed Janelle's baby, and Cody Brown begs Janelle to reconcile. I will explain everything. Watch this video until end. Hey lovely viewers, welcome to my shocking news channel. Sister Wives star, Mary Brown admitted to having breastfed one of her sister wife's babies. Yet, it was unclear which one she assisted. Now, the truth has been revealed and it makes a lot of sense that it would be second wife, Janelle Brown. So, how was this discovered? On, the Sunday October 13th episode of Sister Wives, McKelty Brown Padron showed off her twins to her father, Cody Brown. As she was doing so, they were discussing her placenta, and then chatter about breastfeeding began. A rumor came up regarding women in the church breastfeeding each other's babies and that led the mothers to feel the need to debunk this. The Og three had children around the same time for many years, especially Janelle Brown and Christine Brown Woolley. Christine was the first to say that was false with Janelle saying she struggled to produce enough for her own six. Robin Brown noted she had heard this rumor about the women in the church doing this. Yet, she never said if she had participated in the act. To be fair, she was only in a plural family for the last two pregnancies. Finally, Mary Brown explained that she had breastfed one of her sister wife's babies. However, it was an emergency, and she seemed happy to help. Mary didn't disclose which wife or child she assisted but fans quickly realized it was Janelle and Maddie Brush Brown. A Reddit thread was started, stating the facts and reasoning behind why it was both Janelle and Maddie. The op wrote this. It's a well-known fact that Mary nursed Madison when she was a baby because she was failure to thrive. It's been covered multiple times. They then added that they did not understand why Janelle and Christine were so peeved by the whole breastfeeding each other's baby's conversation. So, did other followers agree with this detective work? No shade, just love. Many Sister Wives fans felt that Janelle Brown and Christine Brown Woolley were not peeved out by breastfeeding. They were repulsed by the rumor that women sat in a circle handing their babies around to be nursed. It was this idea that made them uncomfortable not that they would easily help out their sister wife in an emergency which is what Mary Brown stepped in and did. One follower broke it down perfectly. It came across that way but I didn't get the feeling it was meant that way. The whole topic was because Tony asked about as a cultural thing that all lactating moms were available and often handed off. Christine called BS on that, specifically. Christine didn't nurse anyone's baby, because she didn't have to. But if one of the babies needed and she was already nursing she would have done exactly what Mary did. They then noted how Maddie was born when. Mary was nursing Leon so it makes perfect sense. However, Janelle would have jumped in and helped if it was a worst case scenario like Mary did. At the end of the day, that was the benefit of the wives having kids at the same time. They were available for a crisis and regardless of what happened between Janelle and Mary, the latter stepped up and that is loyalty. In a sister wives spoiler, Cody Brown begs his estranged second wife, Janelle Brown to reconcile. Janelle has already made it clear that she is perfectly happy without him and on her own. So, what has prompted him to come crawling back? When Christine Brown Woolley was the first to stand up and say she was leaving Cody Brown in 2021, it was a shock to the system. She was tired of the way he had treated her and her children. He had also withdrawn intimacy from their marriage and lastly, he wanted allegiance to Robin Brown. It was clear that was and long had been his favorite wife. He would never say the words out loud at the time but Christine, Janelle Brown, and their children saw it. Cody was shattered at the thought of a divorce but would have been fine if his first wife, Mary Brown upped and left. However, she stuck around, largely due to Robin and her faith. Then, he and Janelle became more estranged, fighting, he was gaslighting her, and not seeing one another. Finally, she decided she and Cody were done and she was moving on, not needing a church, release. Yet, Cody never understood why they could not make it work. Mary got the hint and got her release but according to an upcoming episode, Cody still has hope for Janelle. A Reddit thread shared descriptions of the upcoming Sister Wives episodes. A lot is going on starting with the Sunday October 20th episode. Janelle wants to settle things regarding Coyote Pass with Cody as she mentioned she may lawyer up. Then, fast forward two weeks to November 3rd and it says, 
Cody suggests reconciling with Janelle. Janelle has openly said that she considers herself single at this point. Mary may have felt the need to get a release from the church but Janelle and Christine did not. Robin Brown was desperately holding on to Mary Brown because she could not let go of the idea of having sister wives. In the latest episode, Robin was bawling in the closet over everything she would never have. It was Christmas and she was reminiscing on holidays past. There was so much she missed. And how she hated not having the large family around her because all she wanted was polygamy. Now, she was alone with Cody Brown and their children which was not her dream. Since Mary has cut ties, is Janelle Brown the last resort to unite the family? Recently, on Sister Wives, Cody and Robin Brown went to visit McKelty Brown Padron and Tony Padron's new twins. After seeing the latest episode fans are worried about Cody and Robin's choices around the newborns, why? Cody and Robin Brown go see the twins. When Sister Wives stars, Cody and Robin Brown go to see McKelty Brown Padron's newborn twins, they are extremely excited. While visiting, Cody couldn't get enough of Little Archer and Ace. He snuggled with them and talked about how sweet they smell as newborns. Likewise, Cody couldn't get over how small their ears were as newborns. Both Robin and Cody were happy to share their affection with the tiny babies. Each shared hugs and kisses for the precious little ones. Although Cody was elated to see his new grandsons, fans were very concerned about Cody and Robin's actions. On Reddit, one Sister Wives fan points out they have a huge problem with Cody and Robin Brown kissing McKelty Brown Padron's twins, Archer and Ace. At first, they say, Cody and Robin kissing newborns. Then, the user elaborates, anyone else cringe while watching K and R kiss the twins when we all know they carry herpes. This exposure can be very dangerous for newborns. Deadly even. I'm surprised McKelty lets them kiss on the babies like that. And Robin of all people should be more aware. She was so over the top with newborn Ariella. She would make people change their clothing before they could visit. Although Cody and Robin Brown were very excited to see the babies, fans think they should have shown restraint. Furthermore, they were confused as to why McKelty Brown didn't speak up. Likewise, they know Cody and Robin are aware of germ transfer. That was weird, especially because we've seen Robin, quite rightly, tell her kids to go wash up before touching a newborn. So she clearly knows proper newborn care and hygiene. I for one am not surprised McKelty doesn't care though lol. Also, Solomon had RSV as a baby. Kissing is a form of direct contact that can spread RSV. Another viewer points out some germs matter more than others to Cody and Robin Brown. They say, ironic how he was so germ conscientious during COVID but he's not worried now. BC why again? Ooh right, BC goiter wife can be involved with kissing the newborns. Yeah, great logic, crusty locks. He was not germ conscientious during COVID. He said he was and he made up a bunch of insane rules with his chiropractor but he didn't follow the rules. After the initial post, several sister wives were discussing the medical necessity to pay attention to what can harm newborns. However, some weren't only concerned with Cody and Robin Brown's choices, they also questioned McKelty Brown. As a medical professional and a mother I was disgusted. Is it ignorance or stupidity? It makes me so mad when people feel entitled to kiss someone else's baby. Babies have died from kisses on their head. There's no reason for it, and they didn't even ask if it was okay. No I don't think McKelty cares about the not kissing newborns thing even though Robin has herpes. This woman is over here proclaiming everyone who eats their placenta will automatically prevent PPD. She ain't exactly up to date on medical health sh asterisk t. Although many fans disagreed with Cody and Robin Brown kissing Archer and Ace, others think it isn't as serious as people are making it out to be. Someone else points out that McKelty Brown Padron may have already exposed the babies. The user says, McKelty gets cold sores too. Almost everyone has been exposed to them during childhood, it's not even a STD, I'm confused why there is a stigma around them. It's also different than the strain that causes genital herpes. There really isn't a risk to a newborn unless the individual with the cold sore has an active outbreak. You really need to educate yourself about herpes. It is possible to pass herpes without an active outbreak. Same here. Completely agree. 
Me too. I would have been livid if someone kissed my baby and it would have been their last time getting that close. Sister Wives star Mary Brown heard too. Much out of Cody Brown's mouth. And she wants to vomit over what he is saying on the TLC episode this coming Sunday. Mary watches a clip of Cody as he talks out his problems with a few of his men friends. His view on the perks of polygamy doesn't sit well with Mary. But, as the shared husband looks for comfort in the company of some old friends, they seem to get a kick out of the father of 18 because of his odd woes. Sister Wives, Cody Brown pours out his woes on the couch. Cody, Brown takes off to unload his problems on his friends when the next episode airs Sunday night. But it looks like the Sister Wives ladies get to see this clip of Cody before it hits the screen. While the wives offer their thoughts about his ideas, Mary Brown looks fuming over what he says. It looks like Cody even stretches out on the couch. This seems to mirror the movement seen years ago when a patient talking to his therapist positions himself on the couch. But what Cody is about to share with his friends is unlike anything you may have seen in a classic movie. Cody talks about his pending divorce from Christine Brown. So, this is right after she told him she was leaving. But Mary Brown becomes peeved over his thoughts on the bright side of polygamy. Not what he says about her co-wife. Mary Brown thinks Cody misses the mark, he makes her want to vomit. Cody Brown chats with three men, all of whom viewers have seen through the years on Sister Wives. He focuses on one of the perks of a polygamous marriage. He claims if a wife gets cantankerous, then he has another wife to run to. This way he escapes that wife having a meltdown. This is what Mary Brown took issue with. He also said it works the other way as well. If a husband in plural marriage is the one who's cantankerous, then there are the sister wives they can run to. Mary has an issue with Cody Brown's idea of taking flight when problems pop up. She asks what happened to someone sticking around instead. Then they can work out the problem. Instead, she was stuck with Cody's idea in her head, which made her nauseous. Sister Wives Mary and ladies see friends circle Papa Brown. Getting together with his buddies is something Cody often did when they lived in Utah. That's back when the Sister Wives series first started, Janelle Brown shares with the viewers. She laughs when she hears him say the wives can get away from a cantankerous hubby. She says he hit the nail on the head. But it appears she referred to the wives getting away from the husband when she said that. Mary Brown, on the other hand, didn't like the idea of the husband or the wives running to someone to get away from their problems. No, this didn't sit right with Mary at all. The sister wives patriarch admitted to his friends that he might experience some jealousy if Christine finds someone new. He also admits that he should have said something different. To Christine when she came to him with her problems. Cody calling Christine baby wouldn't have cut it. Christine told Cody that she hated polygamy. Cody counteracted that by yelling at her that she has her kids, her sister wives, and her husband due to the polygamy lifestyle she hates so much. Instead of that sarcastic remark, he tells his buddies he should have said something different. Like, I know it's hard, baby, and, I am sorry it hurts. Needless to say, Christine got a kick out of that. She left him for many reasons like he basically abandoned their marriage in lieu of his favorite wife. But she responded to this clip by saying she left because as his wife she did anything and everything for him that he wanted or needed. But when she needed him, he said no. When Robin Brown's turn came to comment on that clip, fans suggested that she didn't seem to have a clue. Instead of saying something about the content, she just said how she advocates for him to have a guy's night out. Her theory, men need to be around other men as women need to be around other women. But the fans ask how that is working out for Robin, being around the other women who married her shared husband. Not so good the viewers suggest. Anyway, Mary Brown heard enough of Cody Brown finding an escape when problems arise. She was about to blow lunch after hearing this come out of his mouth in a clip that airs Sunday on the TLC series. Thanks for watching this video. What do you think about this video told on comment box and subscribe our channel.